I Am Wrath is a 2016 action thriller starring John Travolta as Stanley Hill, a man driven to vengeance after the brutal murder of his wife, Vivian. Directed by Chuck Russell, the film attempts to blend intense action with a personal vendetta storyline but delivers mixed results. Travolta's performance is a highlight. He convincingly portrays a man who transitions from grief to rage, effectively carrying the film with his charisma and physicality. His chemistry with co-star Christopher Maloney, who plays his old friend and partner in Revenge, which adds a dynamic layer to the narrative. Their camaraderie provides some of the film's most engaging moments, injecting humor and a sense of brotherhood into the otherwise dark plot. The action sequences are well executed and provide the visceral thrills expected from an action film. Choreographed fights and shootouts are intense and keep the adrenaline pumping. The film's pacing is generally brisk, ensuring that there is never a dull moment. However, I Am Wrath suffers from a predictable and formulaic plot. The story follows a familiar revenge thriller template without offering any fresh twists or depth. The villains are one-dimensional, and the conspiracy underlying the murder feels underdeveloped and cliched. This lack of originality diminishes the film's impact and makes it feel like a rehash of better executed revenge thrillers. The dialogue is often clunky, with expositional lines that feel forced and unnatural. While Travolta and Maloney manage to elevate the material with their performances, the script fails to provide the nuanced character development that could have made the story more compelling. Visually, the film is competent but unremarkable. The cinematography and direction are serviceable, but lack the distinct style that could have set the film apart. The production values are solid, but there are no standout visual or technical elements that leave a lasting impression. In conclusion, I Am Wrath is an action-packed revenge thriller that benefits from strong performances by John Travolta and Christopher Maloney. However, its predictable plot, lack of originality, and clunky dialogue prevent it from rising above mediocrity. While it offers some entertainment value, particularly for fans of the genre, it ultimately fails to leave a significant mark.